Hey guys, um, so I'm gonna do a quick review of the Ping Hofer 14. And it's called that because um, there, there's a couple variations in the Ping Hofer bags. There's the Ping Crazy Light, the Hofer Light, and the regular Hofer. And the regular Hofer comes in a, a format which has either a 14 way top because you're allowed to carry 14 clubs in regulation, or I believe a five-way top. And so I'm gonna go over maybe a little bit of why you might want a 14 versus a five-way top, uh, maybe in another comparison video, but for the time being, let me just walk you through a little bit of the actual Hoofer uh, 14. All right, let's get to it. So, like I mentioned, uh, this is a 14-way top, and you can see it right here. This is the navy and red version, and I would say that the color is pretty, pretty navy. Um, the red looks really clean too. You have a little Hoofer 14 logo over here. Uh, let's take a look at the actual uh, composition of the bag. So, you get a main pocket here. Pretty decently sized, the cardboard's still in it over here. Uh, this is where I would probably personally store my uh, layers of clothing um, and maybe some snacks, some gloves over here. There is, looks like a place where maybe you could fit some other sort of valuables over here. There's like an elastic part. All right, so let's zip that up. I don't see any other pockets inside. Sometimes bags will have that. Over here, looks like a smaller kind of a valuables pouch. So this is where you might want to put your keys, your wallet, uh, some other smaller items that you want to make sure that don't get lost, but all are pretty easily accessible. And then there's a medium sized pocket over here, which looks like I'm not quite sure what you would use this for if, because the, the main compartment is actually pretty large already. And so the, you know, I guess it's never a bad thing to have more storage, right? So the middle of the bag is, I would say, let's get this out of the way. You have a, oh, it's a magnetic enclosure right here. Um, I have a previous version of the Ping Huffer Light, and I don't think it was magnetic. So knowing that it's magnetic, this is probably where your rangefinder goes if you just want quick access, right? Um, up top over here, probably where you might want to keep a couple balls. Uh, or, you know, th this top compartment is something that I personally don't use very much, but maybe your gloves can go in there. Let's see, and then let's go over here. There's a good amount of space here. So this is the, the pocket where actually I choose to hold most of my balls um, because uh, especially if you're playing on a course where you know you might be losing a lot of balls, uh, you wanna carry a, a healthy amount, right? Uh, but also, I mean, you could use it to Put like your teas in there uh, for your mats. Um, there's a little apartment over here. This one looks like it's insulated. And so this is probably where your drinks would go if you want to keep it cold, like some sort of uh, seltzer or beer maybe if you want to enjoy more of a, a chill social round. Off to the side over here, oh, what is this? I guess this is where maybe your water bottle would go. Yep, because you're going to hold a bag like this. The water bottle kind of goes in here. Is there another one on the other side? No, I don't see one. Uh, over here is just another side pocket. Uh, personally, this is kind of where I hold my tees and maybe my adjustment tool for my driver or my woods. And then... The rain hood is over here and it's tucked inside. Comes with the bag. And then 
The actual action of the stand, pretty solid here. So overall, I mean, a, a solid bag. Ping makes phenomenal carry bags. And if you're looking for a bag that actually has 14 uh, compartments for your clubs, this is not a bad way to go. All right, so that is a little run through here of the bag. Um, there is, so this is the 2023 version. And if you were looking at maybe the 2022 version, my understanding that is that the 2022 version was basically the 2021 version, just with new colorways. And the 2023 version of the Ping Hoofer is uh, an updated bag. And so hopefully this walkthrough helps you decide whether or not you want to try out the 2023 version of the bag versus maybe still going with the 2022 or 2021 version. So um, I'm also going to be doing a, a review of my vessel bag that I've had for, uh, you know, uh, almost a year now. And uh, the 14 uh, divider bag actually isn't the one that I am going to be keeping for myself. This actually came in as a mistake. I ordered the five-way top of the Hoofer Light. So I'll put up a video of that as well. I, I think maybe the compartment wise, I don't expect to be it to be too different, but um, yeah, if you're looking to make the purchase, hopefully this helps. All right, thanks for joining and see you later.